Hi and welcome back. In this video on predicting salaries after college using linear regression, we are going to look at the steps in linear regression and then we'll use machine learning toolkit to predict salaries after college using linear regression. Just like in any other machine learning task, our first step is to prepare the training data. Next to test, if our algorithm is performing correctly, we use the test data. So for that, we need to prepare the test data. Next, we decide on the features to be used. Then we decide the hypothesis and the cost function. In our case, the hypothesis is pretty straightforward. That college GPA is predicting the salaries after college. And the cost function is a cost function that we saw in the previous videos, which is the sum of squared errors cost function. Next, we decide on the minimization algorithm, which in our case is gradient descent. Then we iterate over the data set while training the model and updating the parameters. We finally make predictions on the test data set. Now let's look at the code in which we are using machine learning toolkit to predict salaries after college. Here, I have opened my section 2.3 in my Visual Studio code, which has two files, index.html and index.js. Let's see what index.html looks like. It has a HTML and a body tag, a div tag with a header predicting salaries after college using linear regression, and another empty div tag with the ID hello. Next, we use the script tag to reference index.js. Now let's see what index.js looks like. Here, we first get the linear regression code using ML regression and the require function. Next, we write using ML regression into the empty div tag. We then define our x train and y train values. There are different ways to import data for the training, which we'll see as we progress along the course. Next, we create the model and by passing it X train and Y train, we train it as well and assign it to regression. We then use this variable regression to predict the output for value 80. We see the coefficients beta 0 and beta 1 using the coefficients function and then to print the model in a human readable format we use two string and supply it with the parameter 3. Now let's see what the output looks like using the Chrome browser. To launch the browser we enter the command parcel index.html which starts the server. I then open the link to the server which launches my browser. The HTML page looks how it was supposed to look. Next, let's see the output on the console. This is a predicted value for the value of 80. The two coefficient beta 0 and beta 1 is 683 and 97. And the function in a human readable format is 684 plus beta 1 which is 97.4 into x. So in this video, we use linear regression to predict salaries after college. In the next video, we'll understand what is logistic regression and how it is used in classification in understand classification with logistic regression. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.